So I'll be talking about Big Bang. So my friend uh, read a great book called Realm of Racket, and he was all excited to share the program he, a game he made with his friend. So he pings him and says, hey, I created this great program, uh, game. Would you like to play it? And he was like, sure, why not? And he meticulously sent him all the details, like download Racket, download the source. And he was like, OK, I'll download it later. And that's usually what happens, right? No one wants to download stuff. But they do click links, right? Uh, people click links uh, all the time. So that's how Wailbin was born. Right, so the idea is you could post your Racket games uh, in this website and click compile and it will compile it behind the backs and you could just play the whole game within the browser. So we are taking this idea from MIT Scratch, which has been there for a while, but we sure don't use a toy language, we use Racket, right? Uh, one of our other goal is to find whale song bugs and continue improving it. And Along the way, we also created uh, a Dr. Racket plugin so that you could easily comp uh, publish your games to web browser. So let's try, the, uh, try this. Uh, if, uh, the, um, the link is bigbang.ccs.nu.edu. So. Uh, is it clear? Yeah. Seems to be, oh yeah, now it's good. So Steve, me, and Ben uploaded some games from Racket 2. I'll just search for them. So this is my favorite one, NES Archery. Uh, OK, there you go. Um, so I'm gonna see. OK. Where is the close button? Oh, uh, no. It's working. OK, yeah. So, yeah. There you could see the wind speed. I'm going to try to hit center. And once I do, I'll switch to next game. OK, last try. Oh, great. This is reasonable. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's switch to the next one. Uh, and now let's try Flappy Bird. I guess everyone knows what that game is. Uh, okay. There you go. Uh. <laughs> it's still easier than uh, my touch phone. See? Yeah. <laughs> Great, right? Okay. So now I'm an expert, so. I'm going to fork it and make it harder. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go hardcore. I'm not a robot. Submit. <clears throat> yes, it's going to take a while. I don't have Xeon machine, right? So, yeah. Ah. Ah. Turns out it went slower. Anyway, yeah. I, my, my intention was to make it other way around, make it faster, but well. Would have been funnier, I guess. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, uh, I should probably show. So here's the, Wales, uh, the Waleson plugin. Uh, this is Game Tetris from Soft Contract Paper. I could just do write the uh, code here and do whale song run and it will take a while it should run here yes mm -hmm. anyway so it's taking a while so i'll just head on it will show up here at some point <laughs> oh yeah it did see <laughs> okay so this is Tetris. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. So the site ar architecture is pretty general. Uh, general, we uh, accept that we use Racket web server. Otherwise, uh, Whale Song for Racket to JavaScript compilation, MySQL, Elasticsearch for full, te full text search, and 
I use Nginx as reverse proxy. So whale song is, like I said, a racket to JavaScript compiler. Uh, it was created by Danny Yu and currently maintained by JNXL and Emmanuel and Darren uh, contributed a lot that made all this possible. I just fixed stuff. Uh, so hashlang whale song is a subset of racket. It doesn't support the full racket. And so some changes to your code will be required. And typically, uh, if, if you are making uh, a game from HTTP or Elm of Racket, these three lines, uh, these three, four lines should just work. And yeah. Uh, uh, Whale Song has some, uh, has some limitation. One of them, the biggest one is like, you can't directly install Whale Song from Ra Dr. Racket Package Manager. Uh, it doesn't support full Racket. So if you are using fancy features like classes, keyword arguments, uh, probably macros, but macros seems to work, yeah. And image literals in your racket source, which is, uh, which is very common in HTTP books, uh, that won't work. So yeah, we are working on that. Uh, also, Whale Song lives on top of a very heavy runtime environment. So even if your uh, game works very well on racket, it may perform very badly on Whale Song. So now that I have time for, um, more time, I will speak on my experience uh, writing this web app uh, using Racket. Uh, there certainly has been some good things and bad things about it. So coming to the good parts, uh, I mainly like X expressions because uh, uh, it, it serves the purpose of template, right? Uh, the, in temp the, the, the purpose of template is to insert arbitrary code inside your HTML, and that's exactly what X expression did, except that I didn't have to learn a new uh, language and it and I wasn't limited by the templating language. Of course, UI design, designers won't like it, but I'm a programmer, right? so I'm okay with that. Uh, well, selling point of racket is continuation, uh, which can be useful. Not many times for me. I'll speak about it later. Uh, I particularly like parameters. Uh, it was an awesome way to manage global state. I use it to manage sessions and. Uh, I could clearly see how it, I could extend to make more complicated opti applications. And because of these parameters and other cool language features like uh, macros and the current uh, state of our web server, I think we probably don't need a full blown big framework. We could, uh, particularly for the small projects like this, uh, I could just uh, create uh, a small framework as, as per my taste as I build something. So yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. Uh, coming to the bad parts, uh, one of the more, uh, biggest bottleneck was like lack of libraries. Typically, I expect uh, I expected this to be over within a weekend or something, but yeah, uh, there were there were a bunch of libraries that weren't there, and there was a lot of grunt work that I had to do. Uh, particularly, I missed an ORM because I clearly don't like writing SQL uh, plain SQL. It's like it's this code in string and uh, every time you have to change, it's uh, you feel like you have to pull your hair out because yeah, you have to change indentation and stuff. Yeah. So uh, rather than complaining, I started working on some DSL to make uh, which would compile down to the SQL. It's a work in progress. Uh, I also built an Elasticsearch library. So yeah. Um, so I think yeah, clearly uh, Racket um, um, Racket needs more library for web. Coming to continuation, uh, I used it for registration and login forms, and uh, it was useful there. But I don't. Uh, I could see how it could be useful for wizard like UIs, like uh, shopping carts, and it was uh, uh, pretty useful and avoided me to do some grunt works because everything was available on the Excel scope. I could access the variables, so I was probably more confident about my correctness. Uh, but a web application these days are built uh, uh, using rest, uh, RESTful architecture that is uh, within the same request. You provide all the information, uh, and uh, most of the application, uh, single web application do that, right? So I don't see how you could fit continuation in that. Uh, and one of the biggest bottle, uh, uh, drawback was like you can't scale uh, continuation out of the box because the state is local, right? Uh, uh, if, I, if I'm using continuation, uh, I just can't spawn more machines, start the web server, and 
put a uh, nginx on front end and scale, uh, uh, expect it to scale i'll have to make some distributed continuation manager first and that's clearly not, that that i can't do in a weekend so yeah we need some distribu distributed continuation manager that would store the state in some distributed store so uh, that's all i have to say for now uh, i like to thank steven who actually who uh, who, uh, whose idea this whole thing was and I invite you all to go to wigbang.ccsnu.edu and upload your games, play there, and thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I hope everyone can take a break from playing all of Vishesh's games on their laptop to ask a few questions. Is Whale Song Pac-Man complete? No. <laughs> uh, you mean, uh, can I write Pac-Man games? Oh, no, I haven't, but I think uh, you should be able to write Pac-Man. Yeah. Last time I asked that, but Yen actually written Pac-Man. Yeah, I don't know. So. Any other questions? Okay, well, let's thank Vishesh again. <laughs>